So if you don't want to use Xcode to run your React Native iOS project on the simulator, you can also use React Native IDE, which is an extension that's available in VS Code, and you'll be able to run your React Native iOS and Android project inside your VX Code. In this video, I'll be showing you how to do that. Check this out. So the other day, I wrote a post about my upcoming video on biometric authentication with React Native and Expo, and someone saw how I used React Native IDE to run my project. And the person got interested and was asking me how i did that so it's very easy so to do that we'll first go to the extensions tab on our vs code and as you can see i search react native id here and it has brought it out for me all i'll just have to do is to install it and once it's installed you'll be able to see open ide panel button here at the top right of your vs code as long as you open up a react native project so i'll just click that so once we click on the button open ide panel we're going to see no devices and we're going to create a new device and prior to this i have my xcode installed on my computer and also i have android studio installed on my computer so i'll have to select the device i want to create let's say i want to create the iphone 15 pro so i'll select that and i'll create i'll select the system image here this system image comes once you install xcode on your computer i'm using a mac os so i'll create that so once i click on create it will begin to boot the ios simulator inside my vs code as you can see and so once we click on that button it loads up and it runs our app inside our vs code as you can see so is that pretty easy if you are building react native projects it's totally worth checking out all right guys and that's it from this video stay blessed